can't look in the eyes of my brother without shedding Yo, a tear. Welcome back. Brother. Welcome back to another episode of the Informally Honest Podcast. You joining us again, and we thank you for it. Kids, your first time. Uh, we are four brothers from the middle neighborhood of Gary, Indiana, who chop it up and converse over a uh, cornucopia of subjects, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that Happy we can, you know, process. <laughs> 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 I think I've ever heard the word in another month. The November. The, the November. <laughs> Uh, I don't so we, think I heard it last Thanksgiving or <laughs> around. <laughs> I mean, the last Thanksgiving really happened though. You know, it was COVID. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Look, looking at your mama eating your eating your your deli meat turkey from Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's not> <laughs> uh, but, but we uh we come here to chop it up. We come here to uh process this thing called life, or to say literally nothing, and y'all sit here with ninety minutes uh listening to us say nothing as well uh but we want to thank y'all for coming back and uh it's always a pleasure hope you can deal with this echoey sound of mine uh but otherwise fellas what is going on hello world (laughs) (laughs) double a here (laughs) (laughs) well uh i guess i had a vulnerable moment man because I think this actually happened. Like, this actually happened at least a week ago, but I just didn't speak about. It. I totally, honestly mm. forgot. But Hachi passed away, man. That's your dog, right? Yeah, wow. yeah. Mm. Family dog. I mean, of like thirteen or fourteen years, he's he was the homie. So I had a moment of uh, feels. I had a moment of feels, man. Damn. And I had to like sit with that, you know. And I, I like just gave my aunt a call, and it was one. Of, it was a. It was one of those. One of those <laughs> field talks. <laughs> it was a, like you, like you, you know, you didn't even have to really say much on the phone, but it was just you knew, you knew what the other person's feeling. So it was, it was a nice opportunity to relate. But all in all, they actually ended up getting another one. She couldn't help it. Like you know, it was one of those things where like they went to the uh, to the they went to the pet shop just to look, just to like you know, like nah, you know, you're about to get another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they got another who's actually and, uh, and this dog, this German Shepherd is actually smaller, is actually younger than uh, when they got when they first got Hachi. Mm. So, man, I, I would love to have a German Shepherd. Dog. That's the dog I would want, but they just shed yeah. too much. Man, I remember I was gonna say I, I dog set uh, coworkers of mine when I was in Korea for for three weeks, mm-hmm. and like I was still sweeping up hair like months later. Just that was just still just somewhere hidden in the corners. It's like I was. It's not stop, but it's, it's because it was hardwood, not hardwood, but like whatever that fake wood is, mm. all over the whole mm. place. It didn't really. It was easy it's to much clean. Easy. I'm, imagine having carpet though. It's like, oh, bro, <laughs> man, I, I, and we have like we don't even have carpet, but just the rugs and stuff, and the mm-hmm. and then, like the, the the sofas and the and the the bay right. uh, covers are getting getting uh, cleaned all the time, dude. All the time, they getting rollered. Like crazy, man. But yeah, that was my vulnerable situation, man. The homie, the homie passed. We knew it was gonna happen. Stimpy, and it actually like it, it actually happened earlier. Yeah. It happened like it happened due to his suffering because he was he was dealing with tumors and stuff. And it was honestly that the mm. bills were just racking up. Right. It was better to put him out of his misery. So all dogs go to heaven, man. <laughs> for real, yeah. <laughs> for real. Great, for real. great animated oh. series. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And movies. But I hope, I, I, I hope y'all have been well, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I had um, to anything of that nature this week. Uh, but just in case uh, this is your first time joining us, because I know we just hopped in. Uh, we have three principles that we abide by with every, uh, with every conversation, and that is being forthright, vulnerable, and honest. And so we like to start our shows. Um, going through the week and, you know, if you had any moments of being forthright, vulnerable, or honest, you know, share that with the crew, share that with you. For sure. Uh, is, is that a Midwest <laughs> thing that, you know, <laughs> we, that we, don't, we don't really say, uh, uh, you? Um, you say you? 
We say chew. Chew. Oh, okay, I was, I was, I was, I was I, I say y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all. Like y'all is y'all is a southern thing. You know, a lot of a lot of motherfuckers in the Midwest are from the south. So do you? So do y'all you say, still say with you? Or, like with you or like uh, I say with you all the time. You know what's up with, with you? Y'all. And do you spell it? Like I spell it that way. I spell it how I say it in the text. W i t c h e. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. What's exactly good with what you? I like, like I don't. I don't <laughs> Dude, it's when I am not. I mean, I say it. I know this. I, <laughs> like either like with you or with you. I, I think I use a different combination of words. I, I know this sounds petty. And I, I recognize it. It's it's silly, but like text messages are not made for proper English. For like for like you're not you're not supposed to punctuate properly or you don't have to in a text message, man. They're short. Oh, you don't you don't have to. Sometimes but <laughs> sometimes it helps. <laughs> well, it depends on how the nature of the of the like what you're talking about or, right. or who you're talking, talking to. to. Yeah. I mean I mean or like, how long, how long, like if it's long for me. I'm not gonna be perfect, but if it's yeah. like kind of short, it's like I'm just gonna make it regular. <laughs> <laughs> are you using I'm, like are you using commas and periods after every sentence and then start not, with a I capital mean, every time and all that? It depends. Yeah, sometimes. I guess the phone does it for you. I guess the phone. I would say some sometimes. sometimes you do. Yeah, Word. like I, my mom. Go ahead. I was gonna say because my mom uses absolutely no. All the rules are broken when it comes to text. <laughs> Like it would be like six lines of words, no periods, no. Com- I'm like, oh no, I can't do that's that. Me, Come no, on, man. That's me, no. <laughs> like, that's in my head. I'd be like, I, I don't know. I gotta fix this. And then some of the words are misspelled too. It's like, this isn't your skill. No, because I, because I, I, I can get misspelling the word here and there. That just happens if you're typing fast. If I'm typing a really long message, which I try to mm. avoid, then I'm proofreading. Right. I, ha- I have to proof. Oh, that. well, I feel that. <laughs> well, to go back and and like change a. A word that you misspelled, I'll do that. Sure, but like all the perfect punctuation all the time, I don't think I. That's I think I use dot 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 a lot. Like I use use all the time (laughs) as a punctuation mark. Yeah, I'm I'm speaking in fragments. (laughs) Sometimes, because sometimes like it's not really period worthy. No, but you don't (laughs) need a comma because it makes it seem like you're trying hard to use correct. (laughs) So I was like, okay, I'll just do the ellipsis. Man. How often how often do you write LOL knowing you're not really laughing? All the time. I I try <laughs> not to do I do it try all, not to but do it's, that. it's just it's, it's like universal for any level of laugh now. But yeah, it, of course we I know smirk, we know you're smirk, not I'm laughing out loud. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Even more even more specifically, do you use <laughs> LOL to make sure people don't take what you said too seriously? Yes. yes. I do that. Like it's hard, it, like yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I do that Ooh. at work because it's kind of like we all text each other, mm. and it's like you know it's this whatever it's this business, and it's like I'll be wanting to say LOL because I don't want to make it sound like because I already know how I come off in person. Mm. So I feel like in text it's even more like hard to read. Mm. Stuff. So like I want to sure. use LOL so they they don't think I'm like you know a, a douche, even though, <laughs> bro. For sure, it's so yeah. easy for an exclamation point. To go two different ways. Yeah, it could get misconstrued, you know, like, misconstrued yeah. man, very easily <laughs> through text. Yeah. Like, even like if you're trying to make a joke, maybe you know, you don't. The other person don't see like you being you being jokingly. Yeah, I mean it. Like it's it's hard to try to con- like. I wish people would really stop trying to convey sarcasm through text. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you that, like one, that, just, that one in specific. Yeah, that one you just can't do. Jokes can happen <laughs> if you have that rapport, or you're clearly being jovial. Like it, like it's it's no way to misinterpret uh, misinterpret misinterpretate this jovial nature of this conversation. But like you can't be sarcastic via text. I feel like that's where emojis help out a little bit. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> and gifts. Yeah. Which I don't use enough of either of the two, actually. I, yeah, I use gifts more often now. I try to. I forget you can do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, let me use a gift. Best thing to add it to a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you can add to those two things. <laughs> what's the last? What's the last like a uh, uh, text conversation you had that got um that either you misinterpreted or you said something that got misinterpreted? Well, that's a very good question. I'm sure it was with Casey. I'm. I'm <laughs> 
Like, yeah, that's I'm, a I'm sure. Weekly yeah. occurrence. Yeah, my situation. Yeah, it might have happened with with my girl too, and then we did, did like a phone call, yeah. like a phone call. <laughs> it was imminent. One call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, uh, I, the other day, I started to text my sister like something, and I just realized it was a a lot more complex <laughs> than, than I can do, like at a at a you know a good speed <laughs> to relay mm. what I'm saying. I was like, I'm I'm going, I'm about to call. Like, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> sometimes I'm not trying to do text. Like it depends on the. Um, conversation yeah. if it's a real conversation you can't yeah we, hey yo how, how often do you or maybe like how often do you guys say hey yo i'm hit you back i'm, I'm hit you right back with no intention to hit the person <laughs> right back <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't i can't say that's i can't say i do that because i, yeah. I genuinely always have the intention of doing it but i fail <laughs> yeah. gotcha. okay it, yeah that is more like me but that I used to be like, yo, let me hit you right back. And I had zero <laughs> intention. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> right back. In, in real life, you know, it, I, I, would, I would say that to people like, yo, do you really? <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know the people who say that and they really <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. With, with, <laughs> with Aaron, you think like, about you it. Know. <laughs> Man, yeah, you know, you know, good and wet. Like, I'm just, you think about example, no, that's all good. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, from... I hope I didn't do it to you, man. I hope I probably did, did back I mean, in the day. <laughs> probably all of us has probably did it to each one of us, like, in that combination. Yeah. like yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you who was the worst with this. Lamont was the absolute, Lamont was the absolute worst. He was the king, <laughs> like, he Lamont would be like, Hey, man, let's go to blah 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 and, and hoop and play basketball. All right. I'm gonna call you right back. Okay, time goes. Okay, a day passed. Hey man, we you know then he him and somebody else talking about when they go went when they went to play basketball at whatever place. Right. I'm like, so you actually went? <laughs> <laughs> like, and you're like, oh yeah, man, I forgot. Like, he did that all the time, man. All the time. Or just like he like, yeah, he communication. That man, what's the worst? It's not, it's not what he majored in in college. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Uh, the, the infamous. Um, <laughs> yeah, you heard of us. Miller, murderers. Oh, shit. I have something. Um, oh, to, uh, to, to, take, to take this into a, like a, 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 I'm not a heavier place, but I really, I really wish people would get two things about text, and this is just, maybe it's just a personal thing. So let me not say, let me say this like it's universal. One, texts are not time sensitive, unless they are. I know that sounds contradictive, but it's a thing of like, I feel like if you texted me something, one or two, th- two things either happen: either you were in a place where you could not call me, or you chose not to call me, and therefore I should assume that it is not a rush for me to get on it. Hey, fair. <laughs> no, I never thought about it that way, but that's, that's kind of true. Because yeah. like, I hate when like someone t- texts me. Not that I get a lot of texts from people, but I hate when someone texts me with intentions on like, like I need to answer this question like now, but maybe I'm in, like, you know, at work. So I can't necessarily always, you know, it's just, it's interesting. Never thought but, about that. Would y'all say that text has um was a was at its height like a few years ago? Like I would say like it was a it may have been an era where text was like the king. <laughs> I th- I think it's I think it to some degree it still is. Yeah. Uh but, uh, but I'm know, saying it's it's becoming like on age a little group. less like right. a, a little less like prominent probably. Yeah, well I think now that they add, they've added different just ways of Communication like FaceTime and face chatting. Yeah, that's and true. Right. They added so I, I many ways to communicate to, now. They used to make the phones like specifically for you know texting. Oh, text like it was the craze, you know. I mean, I I loved a good QWERTY keyboard. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah, play, me too. I resisted touchscreen for a very long time. Me too. <laughs> me too. Shout I out to Blackberry. <laughs> 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 I don't yeah. know if they still around or not. 
I think so. You probably got they, like they a can't. Verizon uh, <laughs> scientific uh, scientist phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I, 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 that, that usually, I don't think people do it that much to me anymore because they learned, but it was that thing of like, yo, if you needed me, why did you not call me? Or if you, if you texted me with something time sensitive, be like, hey, I need an immediate response or hey, uh, I would try to call, but I'm stuck in this. Can you blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But, if, but if you hit me on some, you know, like, hey, what'd you, uh, uh, what'd you, um, uh, do you want to go to the club later? And then you're like, no, oh, I'm not going to respond to that immediately. One, because it's two <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon. So <laughs> that, that, that doesn't require my immediate attention. You're like, hey, man, you never got back to me. I'm like. <laughs> well, I guess I'm curious. I'm curious. So I, I I totally agree with you. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that that should be the new text etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so I some, people it. Like, some people like. <laughs> having that in the back of their mind like no like it help it helps them and i'm not i'm not even that person like i'm the same way though but like i've had this conversation with people like they they need to know in order just for planning like yeah in order for them to do their day and have peace of mind <laughs> but i'm like i, I see what I, you're I, I'm, I'm, I'm the same I, way like i can get that anything could change yeah. at any moment like you know, True. It, especially you trying to plan two weeks from now, like mm -hmm. depending on what what it is, like it's some things you oh you, sure you need to set in stone. You know what I'm saying? But and and, and that kind of stuff. If it's two if it's two weeks from now, uh, then you know that's cool. But you you could disclaimer and preface stuff to be like, hey, you know, we we talking about going to Nicaragua next month like are you down uh we need to make these reservations by so and so okay you gave me a you gave me a deadline um i think all text period have a like 36 hour response time <laughs> shelf life <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It, if you don't respond to something in 36 hours like okay you're just being the dick do y'all <laughs> ever do y'all ever like um going to get into the text and like just remember kind of answering it in your head and like didn't do it and then like <laughs> oh, definitely have that's what i do all the time wait what yeah okay. you, you think you this. answered it you, uh, had, you answered at it, it yourself you but you didn't type it, anything but, yeah yeah and, uh, when a person like what's up man like you'd be like oh dang like <laughs> i really yeah, meant to just yeah and you and you actually say the answer to yourself like no i'm good but you never actually <laughs> 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 do that or i'll type it and something will happen and i'll forget that i didn't send it yeah <laughs> that's one of the okay. reasons like it's going to be a push for the ai like like if it was integrated we could just think it and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> boom boom yeah yo josh i'm just curious though because uh mm -hmm. not just for curiosity's sake when you said originally that it's, so let's say you get the text and, and they're wanting to know if you want to go to the club or whatever and it's like two o'clock and it's like 2 p.m in the afternoon Mm -hmm. are you are you not when you say no nah, i'm not gonna respond to that are you like busy at work or something and it's 2 p.m or are you just chilling watching the show and just hanging out and you're like nah i just don't like it's it's the former i'm i'm okay. i'm busy way more than i'm not <laughs> okay you just said nope <laughs> 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 nah, it's, uh, I thought that's what you meant too. Even even, yeah, even, even, in, <laughs> even in pre COVID times, uh, uh, when this was more applicable, like I don't I don't know that I was ever like that. It was like I'm I'm doing like four things right now. Oh, My word. brain isn't gonna process that. Gotcha. So it's like it's like the, one of the busiest parts of your day. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Yeah, you're doing shit. Got gotcha. you. But if I, or if you if you know if you hit me on, I, I I always tell people hit me when when you know it's happening. Because especially if you know you hit me like, hey, we going to, you know, this lounge or something. Yo, somebody, uh, Sam is playing tonight. Uh, you trying to roll through? I'm like in my brain, I'm going, okay, cool. I can log that in as something that's occurring. Mm -hmm. And then, then as it gets closer to, I can remind myself like, oh yeah, Sam is playing. Like if somebody asks me like, what's going on? Later, I'm like, yo, Sam is playing a show. Like I can bring that up. But until we confirm that we're going. It's not a real thing to me. I feel that. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, that that's probably just how I how I process. Gotcha. <laughs> now, now the other side well, of that I, is I thought you were just turning your phone over, <laughs> so you have to see. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to this, this help me forget. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do y'all feel about people trying to have like legit conversations via text? Um, it depends, I guess. I mean, the only person I, I legit text like often, which is, is the person I live with, which is weird, but no, I mean, I'm I gone. That. I'm out of the house a lot, but, um, but it just depends. Like we, we used to do that. Like, you know, teenagers and stuff like that was the, you know, like like Marcus was saying, like that was kind of the thing, like two texts, like. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we got a little bit older, and we still prefer. We still, pre- I feel like our generation still prefers text, if it can be text. But like sometimes there's someone will call you, and like you could have, you know, you could have just text that. So it's like, um, and I get that, but I mean, like people, people, um, uh, and this may just be my experience. People come to you, you know, wanting to have like a heavy ass conversation of like, hey, man, can you, uh, can you help uh, me out with some life stuff? And I'm like, why are you yeah. texting me this? <laughs> like, I call me. Call me. <laughs> no, it's like I, in those situations, I'm always like, call me like this. We, we, this, this is not this is this sounds pressing to your to your psychological state or your emotional state. Why are you waiting for a response? We could have an immediate <laughs> <Yeah>. conversation. <laughs> Yo, you gotta, yo, you gotta put them on that text etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the other side of it because I'm like, what, what, like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> that's actually, yo, that's actually a good point. I'm usually, I usually will, will engage in those if somebody reaches out like that, and just if they, I'm, some part of me will assume if they decided to text instead of call, that maybe is how they want to have the conversation. So I'll typically do it. But even a call, I'd rather just be in person, really. Like, I would prefer, if, if it came to a call, I'd be like, yo, can we just meet up so I can see your body language? Uh, you know? I can, like, Which, that's the assumption that. that that's even possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if, it, if it's some home where you got in Kentucky, then... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, let's meet, let's meet up true. in Missouri. Like, I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that Bob Evans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Evans was on uh, State Road 49. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it used to be, though. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm ready to take it back. <laughs> I'm ready. No, nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I like text. Like, I, from, I, I, I'm not an anxious person, but when my phone starts ring, ringing, that's, that would probably be my most anxious. Like, every, <laughs> like what bad call is this gonna be? <laughs> like, I, I, I'm used to like, when I owned that house in South Carolina and that family was living there, I was like, I just felt like it was going to be them calling, telling me that something's wrong with the house. Like, mm-hmm. here we go again. The AC don't work. The roof got shingles flying off because of the, the storm. It was like, it was just nonstop. I won't say it was nonstop, but it was definitely mm-hmm. a at least two, two to three times a year, me messing with the stupid house. That's why I couldn't wait to sell it. It was, like, it was just sure. a nightmare. Well, it wasn't a nightmare. It was a bad dream, though. <laughs> what, what is the pleasant. what is the step under nightmare uh, <laughs> I know that's probably not a word for it but you're just like oh, yeah, that was- it should be though because I feel like there's a, I think a bad dream could be something like you know Spooky. I'm not I'm not in the stock market or anything but say I, I had like thousands and thousands of dollars in the stock market and the stock market crashes I thought that could be a bad dream but if you had mm. billions of dollars in the stock in the stock market, but but like in real life, and that happened in your dream, I'm like okay, that might be a nightmare. I don't I don't know. I'm I'm rambling, mm. but uh, no, no. I mean, that, that, mm. I feel like that that's still a matter of context because if I got thousands of dollars in the stock market, knowing my very broke ass, <laughs> I'm like this. Oh, that's devastating. <laughs> like, that's, that's a nightmare. <laughs> if I yeah, if I have a million dollars, it's not in the fucking stock market. I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was kind of thinking I was thinking in alignment with Josh because I got hundreds. I got hundreds, and, and when I lose fifty dollars, bro, I'm like, this is a bad dream. That's a bad dream. I'm losing fifty dollars. It's a bad dream. So I was more so thinking like low thousands, like two, three versus like nine hundred and sixty one thousand. I was thinking like you know over middle class type of investing. I got. But, uh, now I know what you mean. It sucks yeah. losing money. Yeah. It's like heart wrenching when you like. Lose a twenty that you just know you had in your wallet, oh. but because you don't carry cash a lot, you probably just miss. Yeah, 
Y'all ever good. had dreams involving money though? I'm sure no. I have. That's a good point, actually. I don't know what I, I, I feel like it's rare, actually. I probably I probably had maybe one or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You was uh yo, you're running around like I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's rare. If, yeah, it, if I had one, it was probably in reference to something, you know, I, a movie or mm. you know, oh, a yeah. story or something like that. Like you, like you put yourself in a, as like Chris Tucker and Money Talks. And <laughs> yeah, something like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> you, you were uh, Master P and all about the Benjamins. Oh wait, was that uh, the Ice Cube? I'm tripping. Ice Cube, Ice Cube. Yeah, that was a great movie, by the way. Damn, need to revisit that one. Um, Yo, yeah, go random ahead. question, y'all. Since this whole episode is is, is evolving this way. <laughs> then, uh, when, yo, when is the last time y'all been to a farmer's market? And did they have them in Miller? I feel like they had farmer's markets in Miller, right? I want to say I went to, um, to like, on it, Lake I think, Street. I think they got one now. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they got one now. It's, like, next to the uh, valet school. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. I think yeah. I've gone to on Lake, maybe on Lake Street Park market with yep. everything. Yeah. I know they got a bunch in Chicago, though. I just never got a chance. Yeah, they got a bunch in Chicago. I got to yeah. tell you, I, I think I was maybe, like, 19 when I found out what the farmer's market was. And so, yeah, you were like, nah, they were good. older than that. So you put the phone down. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I, I was like, uh, like I, yeah, I just know I never knew. I never knew what it was. It was a very foreign right. concept to me until I was very much a young adult. Where? And then I was like, so you're saying you're saying like you know like random folks are just showing up in the middle of a street selling mm-hmm. selling produce. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I asked that because I want like that's kind of been, net, well, at least. When that uh, before COVID and now that they've reopened, that's kind of been one of like Nats and I's Saturday routines, like Saturday morning routines that we, that we try to keep up. Not every time, but and I was going to mm. get into like, do you guys have any of those routines where you go for a run in the morning first, so you do you know you do specific things to start your day? We might have spoken about this, but I can't remember. Mm. As far as a routine, uh, I don't think I have any. Or something you uh-huh. like to do, and you know, on a Saturday, it don't have to feel like a habit necessarily. <laughs> on a specifically a Saturday, <laughs> no. yeah, or the weekend, weekend, but weekend. Only Saturdays is what I mean. Play. This podcast, yeah, it's like it's like uh, our recording, but no, uh, on a, on an average day where I don't have to like immediately work, roll yeah. over, scratch on an off day, on scroll TikTok. <laughs> <That's you>. <laughs> 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 Like, that's, yeah. that's legit. <laughs> that's a legit one. So, so you all right? So I'll make sure I get the question. So, you're asking if we have a morning ritual or a weekly ritual or either. Okay, okay let me be super clear. Let me be <laughs> <laughs> um, like on like an okay, specific to your off days. Okay, and like well, right. so 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 the thing is, this farmers market only happens on Saturdays. That's why, and it happens to be our mm. off days. So we, so I I can get up at night. I don't have to get up at four in the morning like I do at work. I can get up at like seven or eight and still make it. It's something that we get to do together. So things like that, where you do on your off days, that's not mm-hmm. as pressing that you like to do. That you kind of maybe look forward to or something. Or I feel like I should. I should start something like that just to have some like to look forward to or just to know like you're going to do like yeah. I'm going to you know going to work out or play basketball like at whatever time on mm. Friday or whatever I don't know that's uh, that's kind of cool yeah it's uh it's something that's been nice I, I haven't known myself to really be like that all the time like normally I just get up and just kind of see how see how I feel but it's something that mm. like Matt really likes to do and then when I'm going with her it's been really cool. So I just figured, you know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a morning person. And so I don't, uh, I, I do stuff in the morning because I'm obligated to in, in, in ways, yeah. you know, like my commitments work, my commitments to this, like I do these things yeah. in the morning, but I, I, I don't really particularly care for morning stuff. I'm very much an owl. Like, so. Right. Um, you know, am I freezing? No. Nah. No. Nah. Uh, I just missed. No, no, you just cold as ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, actually, you are freezing now. 
<laughs> Yo, he is deep in contemplation in this program. <laughs> nah, right, okay, like he's, he's, like he's praying know. for real. <laughs> I'm having difficulties over here. That, 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 that was your, uh, your album cover right there. <laughs> 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 um, but nah, uh, like I, uh, I personally, I enjoy being at the gym at like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, word. Nice. Now, like how I, many people are there with you typically at that time? Two or three. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, yeah. So, if, you know, uh, you know how you know how there's always like that one dude in the gym who's like really into his music and like he's like popping <laughs> in the corner and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's great when people are in the room. And so I, mm-hmm. I, I can have my headphones on and be going the fuck up. Like uh, being hyped. I thought yeah. I didn't realize you were saying you were that guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just reminded me of like jazz, like you jazzercising or something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I um I I I like to I, I'm not that guy often, but if I know I'm like over at the weight bench by myself, oh yeah, like I'm having whole like contemplative uh dark themed um music videos <laughs> Arms <In> my- steady. <laughs> <laughs> wait i think i worded that wrong but that's right okay. yeah. I, th- I feel like it, it, made, it made sense for the uh for the metaphor though yeah, yeah. You, you better keep you better, you better keep the arms, arms steady you better like, keep them arms steady dog. it's the arms are heavy but yeah yeah <laughs> <It's really laughs> awesome. uh <laughs> <laughs> Which uh uh shout out to uh if you ever had if you ever had the chance, um it made me think of this. Uh there's a movie on Netflix called 40 Year Old uh Version. Hmm. You, uh, you should check out, it's really, really good. It made me think okay. of that because it's about this if this woman who's who's 40 and decides that she wants to be a rapper. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. Yo, I just based off the last episode, by the way, which was which was dope, yeah. Well, the uh, the most recent one that came out for everybody mm-hmm. listening, uh, it was amazing, man. I was I was, was checking it out, and I just it prompted me to check out that show, Invincible. Yeah, oh. it's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I'm only only yeah. episode three or something, but it's dope. Same. Really cool. <laughs> I'm halfway through the uh, the most recent episode. I need to finish it. Shit is wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, first came out with a new one? new episode. Yeah, uh, the one that came out on Thursday. Oh, okay. I uh, check that out. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting to be as violent as it was because it is because for the first like twenty minutes, it's like okay, it's you know standard nineties cartoon style. Mm-hmm. They it's until it gets that that last part of the first episode. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah that was wild. Not your grandfather's Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, it's all episode eight, I think, and yeah, the shit is shit is crazy. Yo, where can I see the show Recess again? Where can <laughs> I watch Recess, bro? Speaking of Saturday <laughs> morning cartoons, no, it's it's on Disney Peacock. Plus. Disney Plus. Oh, okay. uh, I, I might. Uh, I don't think so. Is, is it, it not man? Okay, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm sure it's, it's somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm sure. I can't imagine it not being on anything. That was my jam, yo. That yeah, was I, mean, the one I, I love Recess too. Man, yeah. that was amazing. <laughs> But uh, Yo, well, I did some thinking really quick on, uh, on my superpower just to bring. It oh, back yes, we need, we need this. So we can finish this. Absolutely. <laughs> now, first of all, I just want to say that put some respect on the superpower of flight. Put some respect. On <laughs> put some respect on the superpower of flight. Yeah. Put some respect on his no, name. Fuck yeah, flight, man. yeah. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't with y'all either. I, <laughs> I know, man. Fuck flight. It's overrated. Because, but, because <laughs> first of all, this is the number one reason. Whenever some shit go down, and it's time to get there quick, do y'all really want to be carried by people? <laughs> <laughs> Because you see that, don't you see or, that in the cartoon? Or slide, or, like, or slide on your hands and knees. <laughs> or slide <laughs> on your fucking hands and knees. But, but that thing flash didn't need that flash could just run. That's yeah, true. but whenever you see somebody getting carried, is is sad. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I feel like a lot of people who can fly can fly extremely fast. So they also have speed, like extreme speed, like super. Oh, handy. sure. 
So uh, yeah, man. I I don't know. Give me a vehicle. Just, <laughs> put, put me in a vehicle that can fly. It's fine. Yeah, I guess it just makes sense for all superheroes to fly. <laughs> Or it's just easy have, to that, tell, sorry. have that power tucked. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I'll give you, if I have other superpowers and flights, cool. But if flight is your only power, oh, oh yeah. no. Yeah, that's, that's different. That's stupid. Who cares? Gotcha. You go, like, oh, yeah, I can I, get to that point. I'll, I'll tell you who that. cares. I'll tell you who cares. Me. Shout out to Hop. <laughs> I'm I'm the like, oh, yeah, no I one. can get there quickly. Now, what am I going to do once I'm there? Nothing. Because that's your only power. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> you got to carry a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but Aaron, please explain, explain uh, one, your case of flight, and two, uh, uh, what your powers would be. Well, f- my case for flight is, man, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Even as like a little kid, I remember when I used to do like backflips off of off of uh, like high places. Like a, I think the highest thing I did, I did a backflip off a roof before, like a medium sized roof. Mm. Or and I before I did it, I just thought like, man, this would be this would be so much cooler if I could stay in the air, <laughs> you know. <laughs> From like, and I was yeah. like ten years old or something in uh, elementary school doing that. So I just think it's dope, man. It's just being up there with birds and shit, yo. I think it's dope. You got the <laughs> the sky is more vast. It's just so vast. It'd be nice to explore more of that, you know, outside uh, of being in a being in a jet or you know or something. I'm with you. Uh, before you, before you get to the next point, um, and we can cut this out uh, if we find it to be too rude. Um, Adam Marcus, when he said do a backflip off a roof, am I the only one that thought about Moni breaking his leg? Oh damn! I didn't even know he did. <laughs> I remember him breaking, so I figured out how he did it. He uh, remember that like wooden structure back at Bandicoot that was like a um, it was like an oblong joke, not a jungle gym. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're he, he did a backflip off the top of that and broke what? his leg when he left. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I didn't know that's how he did it. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that's how he did it. That's really? Crazy. Am I the only one that remembers that? Oh, yeah. shit. Dang, yo. So many people got hurt <laughs> in that playground, man. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, he, yeah, he could have been a part of our extreme team. And, uh, <laughs> it was like, yeah, he could have. That shit will get the yeah. app, put that on your application and you good. Yeah, he would have been the king. Yeah. Yo, shout out yeah, to all, uh, like all love to you, man. Not to bring up your trauma, but I just, I just thought about that moment and how fucked yeah. up it was. Damn. Yo, we need to get him on the on the podcast for sure. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like it was a lot of moments where I could have broke a lot of bones, like doing stuff though. For sure, <laughs> especially for sure. like playing football and like y'all mm-hmm. remember like. In the field, the foot like the touchdown was like pretty much the gate. <laughs> yeah. And like yeah. like a few feet in front of it, basically. Yeah. I remember like mm-hmm. catching some passes and running straight from, like <laughs> poles. Like, <laughs> you gotta dodge the poles. And, all. Yeah. and the funny Bro, thing I, is I, I did break my foot. I did break my foot from playing football. I remember. Yeah, we had it's some great. intense uh we used to play tackle like that's that's crazy. It Sometimes we play tackle. Something. I don't know if we played tackle with Emerson. That might have been more of a panic thing, but yeah, I think we did yeah. though. I think no, when no. we were like I, a few times, we did. a few times we did, yeah. 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 Then, then they started watching us, like making us yeah. and making us uh, play tag. Yeah. Admittedly, I didn't on the days y'all played tackle. I know I didn't because <laughs> uh, I was like, "Yo, call me a bitch," but like you know, if I get hurt, then they gonna kick me out. And so, yeah, nah, yeah. All of us could have had right there. Cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> we could have jammed our our hand or something like that. Like, you know, it would have been over for us too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. For real. Because that literally the only way you can not get kicked out of uh, of dance from being hurt is by being hurt in dance. <laughs> but if you get hurt yeah. any other way, then they'll kick you out. Yeah, I I would say, you know. You gotta, you definitely gotta take care of your body a lot more than than we would have had. So yeah, yeah. but uh, um, not to not to pull away from I think Marcus what you were saying, but I want uh, Aaron to make sure he get in his uh, his superpower. Oh, where, where, I don't know. Where oh we're yeah, yeah, yeah. We so my of- first my <laughs> first thought. Actually, let me go ahead and my first thought is um, my first thought when I heard it was to be able to not melt but to um how do i say it dissolve into a different form and then recurate myself essentially like maybe to a gas that's, or a liquid form that's dope so you want to 
I, but that's but that's I very screen. similar to Marcus um, when he was talking about frequencies and shit because I'd have to disrupt the frequency in a way to be able to do that. But you're only you disrupting your own. You could be like a, a a chemical like you could change your chemical substance like mm. go down into like a a liquid you know like your yeah element. that's what I'm and then maybe be able to like because then you can't you can't really it's like, like you a, know how. You can lock my body, but you can't stop, stop my mind. So I, I forgot how Jay Z said it. I forgot how Jay said it, but uh, I keep one out. I'm having. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you remember uh, the Super Friends, but the, you're essentially the uh, the boy from Wonder Twins. Super Friends, I don't remember, man. So in the Wonder Twins, uh, uh, so you know the Wonder Twins, purple suits, they kind of look like little elves. And like Wonder That's Twin that. powers activate, and they would punch this, and the girl would be like, uh form of a tiger and the boy would be like shape of a bucket of water and so uh <laughs> where, 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 where? and so you would essentially have that power where he could like he could change his molecular structure to yeah. like anything yeah yeah that i think i think that'd be cool because it'd be really hard to contain me um especially if i can like a gassy form you know I'm so sure I, they would be with. go ahead no, I was gonna, go ahead go ahead no, I was just gonna say it'd be really cool. That was that was my first thought, and then it started evolving into I could do that, but then be able to manipulate other people's. I could be able to manipulate anything, so I could turn into the person next to me and become like a that of like a clone, and then you know I could do some really like super <laughs> like FBI or like or yeah, yeah, we go some like CIA. <laughs> shit, you know? I'm laughing because that's the power that works. He went. I was like, I was like, was like well, uh, oh one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that's, I, 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 and, and that's, that's, that's probably why I stopped at the. Uh, <laughs> I think you had think. asked like, um, which one would you not tell people? Yeah, not, not tell. Yeah, not tell about. Right. <laughs> um, the, I would. The one I got most excited about. <laughs> so with this power, uh, because I'm gonna geek out with this power, like, how is that useful to run motherfuckers of fade? Like, how how like what? How is that battle ready? Well, I I need to be able to do it quick, so it need to almost be as quick as like which Mortal Kombat character can like go underground and pop up behind you and then beat the shit out of you. That's like, a, like kind of uh, that's Subway a, or Scorpion. Kung, 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 yeah, Kung Lao. Kung Lao. Kung Lao. I, need, I need to be able to do it quick so I can kind Kung of Lao, like Raiden, Scorpion, yeah. uh, Cabal. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and me, and me. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> the, <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> So yeah, I would just need to be able to do it really quick, so I could like be speedy with it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, how, how else would I? I mean, it'd be hard to trap me. That'd be dope. Uh, maybe I could even <laughs> do something with my chemical. So like when I turn into a gas, you when I turn into a gas state, it could be toxic or poisonous yeah. almost. Right, right. I was gonna say that. you could do that, and then I could yeah. just like go, I could just go into your lungs and fuck you all up. You know, right, fuck you all now, the way up. I was even gonna say you could like drown, you could turn yourself into like uh, uh, some kind of liquid and drown people. True. You could do that. I can, thing yeah, I can waterboard. Like, <laughs> yeah. thing where you like go into people's body and then you reform yourself like on some Neo and the first Matrix shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, buddy. So are you saying like like essentially like you could turn yourself into a liquid, gas or uh, a solid, solid, right? So like yeah, yeah, a matter, like yeah. do you like a, a matter matter dude matter mm. man? The cool thing about that though, like if you if you could turn your your body into so like say like the <clears throat> the restrictions where you could turn your body into any element on the periodic table, that's kind of cool Ooh. though. Mm -hmm. Very like, cool. Because yeah. you could turn yourself to and you can mix them too. So yeah, you can mix them, right? So water, you can turn yourself into water, go under a door, pop up into yeah, like a exactly. solid go dude and punch by in the face. I mean, it's like, this is exactly yeah. what I was thinking. And <laughs> you're like unstoppable. I do. If, I, <laughs> yep. if I work for like the mob, right? I could I could take somebody out on a boat deep in the ocean, right? And I could uh, turn myself into a big ass anchor and just like grab somebody and pull them to the end of the ocean. They drown. And I turn myself into a liquid state, become one, take my ass back up and be on about my business. Yo, maybe yes. do a little bit of fishing in the mean, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of fishing on the way up. I, I, I hope it ain't some shit. I can work for the, you know, I can work for the superheroes. <laughs> I would hope it ain't some shit where, you know, like, uh, 
uh, you turn yourself into some water to dive in the ocean and then you like lose a foot over in Antigua. Cause, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. That was, uh, yeah. Yo, that's that was, a, that was fucking my business, man. I thought, yo, that fuck up my money. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that might be the best power when you think about it. Like you yeah. could turn into any gas, any combination of mm-hmm. the elements. I mean, you could turn it to any element and combine. Or you, could, you know what it'd be called? It'd be called Elemental Man. There we go. Elemental Man. Hmm. Or the element. The, or the element. element. The element. I was, I was, I was, like, the I was like, yeah, Elemental Man is a little. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> long. It's too long. It's a little yeah. mouthful. All right. So 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 now we're getting superhero names again. Patent <laughs> pending. Don't be coming for shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, and I'm sponsored by Element, the skate company. <laughs> <laughs> and I can skate. Every time, you, every time you show up, that Kendrick Lamar song comes on. Take me down my element. <laughs> <laughs> this also titled Element. <laughs> Drive a Honda Element. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, 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 uh, I did just listen to the episode too. Why can't I think of stuff? Okay. So, mine was uh, um, affecting like chemical states and. Um, oh, what was my shit? <laughs> I don't know. You, what you were doing? You were you were you, you wanted like that of a powers. healer. You, yo, you were like yeah, a healer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were you were helping folks with with like you mentioned like depression. You are you are a, an enhancer. Like, an enhancer, yeah. like yeah. Mm, mm. That's what I was saying. like, yeah. like endorphins and serotonin and different things like that. But like a yeah, uh, you're almost like right. a prescription for folks. Yeah. You were like a uh, biological uh, genius, yeah. basically. You know, I'll call it psych. Ooh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's nice. Has a ring to it. It's just nice, quick. Just okay. right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's dope. All right, we got the element. We got psych. Any, any, any time, uh, anytime I trick somebody. I'm a, I'm a, that's going to be like a catchphrase for I like punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Josh? Another thing I thought of, uh, uh, like, because like original, the original question was like, you're like, what talent do you have that you could see? Mm-hmm. So you could also have a, you know, the fighting style of Eddie from, uh, from Tekken. Oh yeah. Capoeira. So like, obviously, you know, it's based on dance and, mm-hmm. That could be like your fighting, you know, how like different fighters have different fighting styles from around. Yeah, there. That could, uh-huh. you can kind of blend those two. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that because uh, I do love Capoeira, um, and that's not the only style that's kind of like dance based and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, although I know none of them, I know little <laughs> things about Capoeira, Jenga, and all of that kind of stuff. But um, I, I also thought that would be dope yeah. to yeah. like be the fighting style I have. So Adam, you a uh, nice spin on it. True, true. Yeah, yeah. Adam, you uh, you were you were you were our um, our our engineer. Yeah, I feel like I would be the guy out of the group that's just human, just happen to be, just you know, a part of the group. So I would probably have a simple name like, you know, like they always in ATL. It, it'll, <laughs> it'll be a simple name like John. Duffelman, like, it's, 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 that would be it. But I mean, it could, be, it could, you could just be you. It could be that thing that, like, we, uh, like now, to, now into the into the adventures of I, uh, I don't know the uh, the niggas, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's like you know we got uh, it's like psych, uh, 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 the element, the element, and Marco, we got to get you, and then like and Adam. My my dude should be called Reverb. 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 Mm. Uh-huh. I, th- yeah. I think I'm yeah. gonna name my dude Tyrone. We gotta call you. I almost call, feel call. like it's it's, it's, it's got to be something even more stereotypically black, like trail or something. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Terrence. And, and not that Terrence is t- technically a black name, but I just always wanted to have a pet and name him like a, just a regular, like the regular dude. Yeah, yeah, it's like Tyrone or Terrence or 
Quincy, just like Quincy, like, <laughs> yeah, just a regular name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can, I can get that. That's, that's, that's funny. All yeah, right. Doc, Doc's probably tired of having them <laughs> exotic, <laughs> exotic names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dog's got like a name draft. The same way they My name is Mike, show. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please stop calling me Sparkle. My name is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a scruffle? <laughs> my, name, <laughs> my name is Steve. <laughs> man. Okay, so, so, we, so we got Reverb, we got Sight, we got... I, I, Aaron, I don't know why I can never remember your fucking name. Uh, element, just call it element, 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 yeah. element, element, element. So we got element, and we got Tyrone. So what's the name? What's, 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 what's the name of our? What's the name of our? What's the name of our group? No, that's a, that's a tough one. My um, connection is trash. But what did you miss something? Did you hear the question? You said. I think you just said what's the name of the group. But yeah, what's the name of that? Group? Like I had missed like I was while. just listing off the names. We got we got we got Element, Psych, Reverb, and Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong me wrong. Uh, uh, what would you wrong me wrong me wrong thing? <laughs> <laughs> trying to think. Uh what what's up? Should we do like a, a numbers based thing? How, how about this? Audience, send in what you what you think we should call ourselves. Ooh, yeah, that'd be, great. be be serious, be funny. We don't really care. Just send it in. Uh, send it in to informally honest podcast at gmail.com. You can write in to us on the uh you can DM us on Instagram, informally honest, informally HP on Twitter. Doesn't matter. Whatever you come with, just you name you name the crew. Yeah. Okay? That's Yes, indeed. Now, it's only genius if they do it. And so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right, we got we got Element, we got Psych, we got Reverb, and Tyrone. To wrap this up. Something completely unrelated. Think of uh, think of somebody you haven't seen in a long time that uh, that you know you like really cared about. Mm. And if you saw them right now, what's something you would want them to know in case you never saw them again? Don't ask me <laughs> the last ten minutes of the goddamn episode. <laughs> <laughs> just just so we can to get unrelated. Like, yeah, that's so. that's you know, good and heartfelt. Somebody you haven't seen in a minute that you know that you know back when the last time you saw them, you were like, Oh, that's that's mad love toward this person. Uh, regardless of whether or not they're still alive, or if you know you could never if you knew there was a chance you'd never see them again after that, what would you uh what would you want to make sure they knew? Like, what would you tell them? You know what, man? I think I know I let's pr- the one that comes up um, first for me is my my little brother Chris. <clears throat> I mean, you know, he's. I think he actually. I think he's getting stationed in North Carolina now, but he might still be in Texas. Anyway, I haven't seen him a lot because he he's been in the military. Mm-hmm. Um, and not to get too heavy, I guess. But the last time I spoke with my sister Colette, we just discussed we discussed how we grew up. And how things we went through growing up affected our relationship with one another. And mine, it affected me. I had a lot of anger, a lot of rage. And I took it out on my, like Chris specifically, like my brother, but just family members in general. And we just got to talking mm-hmm. about the dynamics in that way. And mine was anger and rage. And it, it, was, it was obviously never helpful for anyone, myself, nor the folks around me. Um, we just got in, we, 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 we got into the topic of, we, we we got into discussion about how do you think your relationship with him is because we never had no specific we never had a specific time where we sat down and said yo this is how I was feeling this is how you were feeling my bad blah 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 it just seemed like things kind of just progressed and evolved uh, with e- which which with each of us doing our own things and growing and evolving as people mm-hmm. um, I would hope for the better and our relationship just got better. So the few times that I would see him when he would come back for holidays and whatnot, 
it seemed like everything was cool, at least from my perspective. There might have been some unspoken words or what, what have you, but it seemed like everything was cool. So if I haven't hadn't seen him in a while and I, I know he listens, but just on some on some G shit, if I saw him like today or whatever, I would just let him know like, yo, for for sure. I like I was suffering all those years of doing the shit that I did. I was just not in a good state. He may already know this, but I would just make it very clear to that I was suffering. You were dealing with somebody who misery loves, like only hurt people, hurt people kind of shit. So I was I was that hurt person. And, uh, you know, I would like to think that I'm not that way anymore. So if it ever came down, we need a conversation like that. I'm open. I'm open for it. So open to Word. it. Yeah, I'd make that very clear. Word. That's dope. Very. Thanks for that, man. Yeah. Who wants to go I next? think Marco. Well, I I was just want to like kind of piggyback off of that. Uh, not as my thing uh, necessarily, but like I feel like maybe I don't know how it is with everybody else, but like when you have a sibling, it is like that. Like, mm -hmm. it's moments where when you growing up, you just going through growing pains and and just trying to figure out life, figure out who you are. And try to try to trying to figure out how to be a person of integrity or just things like that. And you take it out on your siblings. And I would say me and my brother had like, you know, it was rough at times. Like we were both dealing with family things or whatever, everything like we we would fight a lot like. uh, And, you know, like. um, I would say like the same thing. Like as Aaron, like with my brother, like, um, like I'll just want to say, like, ditto, like, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Big Germ. For real. <laughs> 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 Big Germ. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get some comic relief in there. So <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go. Uh, for me, like, I wouldn't say mine is it's necessarily that. It's not that. It's not it's not that heartfelt, I guess you could say. It's it's a bit yeah. more you know, but uh so when I was in the uh the, the the military, I went to Korea back in what year was that, twenty fourteen to twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. So I went there expecting like, you know what, man, I'm I'm gonna come here, get this twelve months out the way. Um I wasn't expecting to go there and meet any friends, you know, like because I just at that point I had been in the military for five years and I was like, I, I never really got close to anybody like that. And then like the one friend that I did get close with, we kind of just went, went our separate ways, like uh, not to get off subject, but I just wanted to tell this little story, Go but I'm um, like, so he's this, this white guy from Columbus, Ohio. His, his dad is a cop, which is like, okay. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, you know, obviously he has a natural, you know, I guess you could say soft spot and it's hard for police officers, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. You know, as for me, though, as you guys know, like, you know, as I got older, I started kind of like kind of focusing in on, on that, that disconnect between black community and police officers. And I made that very vocal. And he, you know, we kind of just we're still friends to this day, but mm -hmm. we're definitely not like he was like legitimately my best friend for a minute. It was like mm -hmm. cause my first two, three years, like it was a very rare instance. We actually went to, to, to basic training together. We went we ended up having the same job. So we ended up going to tech school together and being in the same class. Then we got stationed at the same our first base together. So we we were like that's unheard of. And this is the fact that we ended up following each other for that long. But it, with, with that being said, though, like like so we we're still friends, but we definitely don't. We're not like buddy buddy, because I think my views have kind of like pushed them away, which it is what it is. But um, but um, to get back on, on the subject. Uh, hey. So the, the 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 guy that I would I would and not that I would be like I love you man it wasn't like that but it's like <laughs> I, I had a friend um, named Bird or well, his name was Brian but everyone just called him Bird um, but like he he's one of the few people if not the only friend I ever had in the military that I would legitimately hang out with outside of the military because mm. for me I just I just didn't make a lot of friends I just I had a lot of coworkers a lot of associates you know people that I would even go out and drink with, but I still wouldn't call him like, you know, a friend. Mm -hmm. Um, 
but that dude, he was super cool. I would say, you know, you're a cool dude. Good luck raising your family because he actually got married like uh, a few years ago. Um, mm. And I think his wife, she just had a, had a baby. So, you know, just a Word. life I didn't see for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice. But, yeah. Word. Yeah, that's um, for me, uh, it's two places I would go. Um, one uh, to a couple people that I've lost over the years. Um, a homie in South Africa. Uh, that's a timer. <laughs> Rap that. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, no, so sorry, right. man. Rap that shit. I don't, I don't know why. Play I don't know why. Play the music. Even when I silence, I silence my phone. I think I silence everything. That's a alarm. <laughs> goes Word up. I'll keep it quick. Uh, one route is to uh, two people I lost uh, uh, uh the past couple of years that that were really really important to me. Um, one, my homie Majola uh, in South Africa, who um, uh, who passed a few years ago. I want to say about three four years ago. Um, and uh, one of my elders, her name is Debbie uh, Debbie, who was uh, the woman I would stay with whenever I would go to Wyoming. Uh, she passed. I didn't, uh, I didn't know. Oh, well, I, I found out after. Um, but I hadn't seen her since January of 2020. And so, uh, just to be, you know, like share some, just share a loving moment with them. Uh, at least that one more time. Uh, even though the last moments I did share with them actually were loving, I just wish it was closer to. Um, yeah. okay. and, uh, what I would really love is to kind of see, all of like my uh my other childhood best friends like floyd yeah. or uh um i'm glad we we i can still catch up with him occasionally uh demetrius mm-hmm. uh or my cousin langston like cats that, that that were that i was so close to growing up and that i still feel a really really deep kinship toward i just hung out with floyd the other day oh really? shit really? <laughs> yeah <laughs> dang yeah Yo, we got that's super cool at Towson. I was like my best friend at Towson. Yo, like Floyd was that dude. I like I remember how close we were at fucking Banneker. Um, and so like th- those cats whom I still have all the love for, and I don't uh time and distance doesn't necessarily mean that I lose any feeling of kinship per- personally. Uh yeah. hence our relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it is that thing of like I, I would love to just be able to like um either kick it with them or just be like, yo, I thank you for the great person you were to me when I was, uh, when we were kids, because yeah, I, uh, I can't. And yeah, like I, I tell y'all that all the time, but yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, just the people that I don't get to see or that I haven't had any longstanding relationship with, uh, yeah. my cousin Langston, I haven't seen him since he got married, like almost a decade ago. <laughs> he got kids now and shit. Uh, and so, like it's stuff like that, that I'm like, I, I still have all the love for them. Uh, but, just to share that with them again. I that made me think. I do got one. Mm. Jennifer Harvey. Like mm. that was my homie in high school. Yes, man. Um, she was like just I, I think I mentioned this before, but like she was just like just funny. Mm-hmm. You know, like, most girls at that age aren't trying to be funny, they're trying to be I'm not trying to stereotype, but m- most girls aren't trying to be funny. It's like that's typically not like a lady like quality. But we just were like just the best of friends. <laughs> uh I like remember. Like those last, I gotta say, most of high school actually, I was mm-hmm. like, you know, most of, like at least, yeah, I'll say freshman through senior year, we, we were close, and then maybe a couple years after, mm-hmm. like once I left, never saw her again. Now we still like we've communicated over like the maybe like four times <laughs> in the last like decade, but uh, it'd be cool to see her again, yeah. Oh, well, I can uh, I can tell you that you know, I, I would have my guess is. In her mind, it's nothing's changed. How do I know that? Because I keep up with her, you know, at least several times a month. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I mean, I mean, sometimes we, you know, we go like a month or two without. But like, I'm actually, mm-hmm. I'm actually uh, doing the. I don't know if you knew, but she is writing a book. She's writing like a novel. She's almost okay. done, and I'm, I'm illustrating the front cover for. Oh, oh dope. yeah, nice. So, uh, but just just to let you know, the love is obviously still there, just from her perspective. Just because we've talked, she asked how the podcast is going and whatnot, so nice. it's it's still very much there, yo. I mean, she know if she was listening, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, shout out, shout out to you, Jennifer. Uh, yeah, uh, she was always really dope, even though I don't 
I never really had any relationship with her, but she was always dope people. So thank you for listening to another episode of the Informally Honest Podcast, y'all. We're going to wrap this up. <clears throat> Fellas, any last words? Well, before my uh, Wi-Fi mess up again, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that girl, this girl, um, like 10 years ago, was uh, <laughs> in my Facebook, like, from the Philippines, she thought I, <laughs> she thought I was her dad. So, shout out to that girl. I hope you found him. <laughs> you found him. Uh, I don't know if you was just trying to holler at me or. Uh, that's really. a weird. That's a weird intro to try to holler at somebody. Like, are you my dad? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Because yeah. I was, I was <laughs> highly considering that. Like, I'm like, I don't look. I don't think I look like you, but I don't know how your dad looks. But uh, <laughs> was she a child? I, no, like we probably she probably was like a few years younger than me. But honestly, like a lot of them, uh, the women there look very young. Okay, but I don't. So sometimes I can't tell. But mm -hmm. it was just it was like super funny. I was laughing. Like we were just communicating for like a day or two. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I had questions like, what? <laughs> how did you contact me? Like, it was it was just super funny though. Like, I just had to I had to mention that man. She yo, she's really looking for reverb. Yeah, she's she looking for reverb. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, try to get some chills up that spine. <laughs> um, that was a funny. Movie. I don't know why that made me think of um, and we're gonna wrap this up. I promise, Adam. Uh, <laughs> I had to see some ID before. I, you know. Adam, you remember, uh, remember, remember back in the AIM days? Uh, uh, I think I might have brought this up on a prior episode. Um, that chick, Angel, who we, uh, we were talking oh, yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Man, man, the the uh, the Miller lover. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, man. Hey man, he's talking about the I am uh, the AM, yeah. The, the Yahoo Messenger. The, the uh, AOL Instant Messenger, yeah. Uh when, oh, okay, uh man. it was short, 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 briefest way I can put this. Me, Adam, and Aaron used to talk to random people on AOL Instant Messenger. Oh no, not Aaron. Me, Adam, and Mont. Me, Adam. Well, I did too. It just I was just doing it without uh, unbeknownst to anyone else. True. <laughs> uh but we, we would be at my house on the internet just talking to random folks and then uh some chick named Angel and her cousin or something like that started talking to us. And Adam uh, Adam said his name was like Jerome or something. And uh, <laughs> Lamont said his name was Kunta Kente. And, uh, and, uh, and so they played along with it and came like a whole <laughs> And then she was like, I moved to Portage because my uh, because I'm in witness protection, and I was like, you know, when you're in witness protection, the last thing you're supposed to do is tell somebody you're in witness protection, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. especially where you're living. <laughs> yeah, and if nothing else, like, yeah. uh, because they said it was in Florida, and then they came up here because wild, wild ass story she told us was uh, Lamont had already left it. I became Kunta because they were trying to continue the conversation, <laughs> and Adam was there just <laughs> laughing at the whole thing. <laughs> um, and she said she was in witness protection because her she uh, she knew the person who killed her best friend and her best friend's mom, and they found her best friend chopped up in a garbage can, in a garbage can, and the best friend's mom had been shot several times. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, either this is a a crazily wild story, or none of this is real. <laughs> <laughs> and Man. yeah. So hilarious then, inter internet. Things. And then you were like, yo, I'm here to help. And then you were like, psych, that's my superpower. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, crazy internet stories. But uh, if you want to write us in and you're going to write us in because you love us uh, to tell us what the name of our super crew is, uh, you could write us at informally honest podcast at gmail.com. That's inform I L L Y honest podcast at gmail.com. Informally underscore HP on Twitter, informally honest on Instagram and Facebook. We love y'all. We appreciate you. And whatever connections you make, whatever conversations you have, and whomever you engage with, 
we implore you and encourage you to make sure that you build genuine and sincere bonds with those people by being forthright, vulnerable, and most of all, honest. Much love, y'all. Peace. Goodbye, uh, fellas. Can't look in the yeah, eyes of my brother <laughs> without shedding a tear for my brother. I really want to try for my brother Cause I truly do feel for my brother